One World Trade Center is known as one of the most challenging construction sites ever, born from the ashes of 9-11. The need to rebuild was agreed upon, but no consensus was reached on what should be done. The future of Ground Zero involved compromise and controversy. There were calls for a memorial, but also the reality of needing to replace 10 million square feet of lost real estate. Rebuilding was split among the Port Authority, developer Larry Silverstein, and the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation, managing federal funds for downtown's reconstruction. In 2002, a design competition was held. Studio Lipskin won with a plan for skyscrapers bowing toward the original tower's site and a new memorial, topped by the Freedom Tower at 1,776 feet. Public unease and political influence, including a campaign by Donald Trump, pushed for redesigns. The NYPD requested changes to make the building the safest in a more conservative design. Construction faced compromises, such as the spire being simplified to an exposed steel antenna for cost and safety reasons. Nevertheless, the building reached 1,776 feet and became the tallest in the Western Hemisphere. One World Trade Center emerged from tragedy and the desires to remember and rebuild. It symbolizes resilience and compromise. Architecture critic Blair Kamen said the tower signaled the byproduct of Ground Zero's underlying conflict between remembrance and renewal.